inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. Hey, 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 ladies, let's celebrate together. Today is Friday, December the 6th, and I am super duper excited because I got my motor running. I'm headed for the highway. Bam. Okay. Y'all know me that I'm a, a music fanatic. But I'm on my way to Florida, yay, for an amazing event called the Table of Greatness. Now, it's crazy because originally I wanted to go to this event because I truly admire and respect the woman who was hosting it. And I haven't had a chance to meet her. And I'm like, I need to get out of town. And I just want to be in her presence. That's the kind of people I have in my circle where it's like, we got to meet each other physically because being that I predominantly run my business online, I don't always see people. I have quite a few clients who live down here in Atlanta where I'm at and I've been a couple of places and I've been able to see some of the people that I work with and some of them have come down here that are just, you know, friends and associates, but it always feels good to actually be in the place and see someone. Well, an opportunity has arisen and the person who promoted the program said well hell if you're coming down you might as well speak and she knows based on her theme for her program that I speak to some of the the issues that she wants to address with the women that will be there at the event and I just I just looked and I smiled because I just said to God you know there's one thing that I've wanted to happen with my business that I haven't necessarily I put that much energy into, and that is the speaking side of it. But what I have noticed is that these opportunities are kind of just like coming to me. I have a couple of other things that are, that are brewing up where people are like, Hey, you know, what are you doing in April? What are you doing in January? What are you doing next June? And so it's organically happening. And sometimes in your business, I I want you to, I want you to think about this. There's only so much that you can do. And so a lot of you may be like, oh, I want to write books. I want to do a podcast. I want to offer programs. I want to be a speaker. But at the end of the day, you can't voraciously promote all of the above. So you may have to focus on one sector of it. But have you ever thought about seeking the divine and saying, can you allow these opportunities to naturally and organically come to me and then allow them to do what they do? Because I know for me, every time I've went and spoken at an event, I have done one or two things or both. 
sold my books and acquired new clients or gotten people to purchase certain packages or special promo offers that I have available, which also I've expanded my reach, my potential client base. And for many of you, a lot of the things that you want, they're right there at your fingertips. Those opportunities are there, but you have these random moments that you're not necessarily responding to. And for me, it was just like, oh, I see her on video and she's talking about the table of greatness and an email also came and here's a table of greatness and they're having an early bird sale. You know what? I kind of feel like I should go. Bam, just buy the ticket and say that I'm going to go without much preparation or thought. And oh, what weekend is that? Matter of fact, I told my husband after I bought the ticket, I was like, hey, I'm going to Florida. And he was like, okay, when? And he was like, great, that's going to be cool. And then it morphed and it turned into something else. And so sometimes on this journey, in the midst of being very strategic and being very intentional, sometimes we just need to be led and be inspired and then allow things to change into whatever they're going to change into. But my other thing that I really want to make sure that I emphasize to you all is to just make sure that you have a solid circle. You know, a circle that, you know, for me, for instance, people that are connected to me when I throw my summits, when I have events for the podcast, when people say that they're looking for an individual who specializes in something, I send them referrals and and I open up op- doors and opportunities for other people. And guess what? My tribe does the exact same thing for me. A lot of you aren't you aren't necessarily making connections. You're just like, okay, let me get on this podcast. Let me be in this summit. Let me go to this networking event. Let me kind of visit here. And you're kind of just existing. You're not connecting. And that lack of connection that's that's what you need. If you listen to the podcast episode I did about a week or two ago, I talked about, you know, building a business with bridges. You know, so many people are always talking about burning bridges. But what about not having like this? I I, I kind of leaped over something or, you know, jumped out of parachute and got on your side and bam, and I'm gone. How about I've got this bridge so that we can continue to go back and forth when we can connect and we can help each other do the things that we need to do. And so check your circle. Not do they just inspire you and motivate you and hold you accountable, but are they sending you business? Are they letting you know about opportunities? Are they promoting you when they see that, you know, the opportunity is there? Are you a person that they, you know, recommend on a consistent basis? Because that level of reciprocation also shows longevity and relationships with which also opens up the no like and trust factor to another level because you don't you don't have to be Oprah or somebody for your endorsement to matter. You don't. Somebody sent in a client to me and they decide to pay me five thousand dollars because one person said something, that endorsement is just as valuable. Now don't get it twisted. You know, if Oprah were to read one of my books and of course back in the day if she was in the book club and she said it was good, yeah, I'm an instant overnight success and all my books are off the shelf. Yeah. Some people's endorsements may carry more weight because they have more access, but at the end of the day, the endorsement itself is something that's important. And so my circle opens doors for me. My circle endorses me. My circle sends me referrals and I do the exact opposite for them. So, hey, let's set up better relationships And let's look to create more connections. And I can't wait to talk to you guys after I come back about the experience being at the table of greatness. I also can't wait to get some warmer weather because Atlanta has been playing games with me. (laughs) You know, I thought I was down south where it was going to be warmer, but I guess I got to go a little bit more south in order to be able to get some more heat. But in the meantime and in between time, don't forget to head over to Uh, the website and get your free goodies and let's see you uh, slay it 2019 is around the freak I mean 2020 lord have mercy is around the corner and you really want to get that opportunity to to go into 2020 already profitable even if you're just creating relationships now they'll they'll close next year so really be about your business and in the meantime in between time don't forget as well Capture More Clients Masterclass launches on the 16th. Uh, I have my no cap Capricorn special and it's currently at $500. Get it. Seize the opportunity. It's worth every penny and I'm ready to serve you. So until we speak again, deuces.
thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces. Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher. Unlock the fire in you.